Hello, my lovelies, and today I thought I would hop on Animal Crossing and I got Happy Home Paradise for Christmas, finally. So I thought we'd give it a go. So I've been wanting to play Happy Home Paradise since it came out, but I just never really bought it because when it came out, I still had my first island and I just didn't really enjoy playing Animal Crossing. But now that I enjoy playing it and I play it like every day, I thought it's a really good time to start. So we're gonna just jump into it. I've watched a lot of videos of other people playing Happy Home Paradise and making the houses for the villagers and the buildings and I'm so excited to be able to do that and I'm just excited to decorate I guess. It looks so wholesome. Of course I'll do it Lottie. Oh my god, I have a job in Animal Crossing now. I'm so excited to play this. I was going to play it last night when I got it, because it is Boxing Day today. But I knew that I wanted to record it and just record my first bit in it, you know? I'll probably play a lot off camera, which I have been on my actual island. But I did want to record the first interaction with the DLC. Oh, cute. I like how it's got like lots of little islands that are like all different environments. I'm very excited to work with that. Oh, it looks so cute. What? Oh. <gasps> Nico's adorable. Can I have Nico as a villager? So cute. Okay. So. Obviously, I haven't played this before, so we're just gonna go into it together, figure out what's going on. Okay, so introductions are happening. Very cute. Some new characters in here. I'm sure you've probably seen other people play this before, and if not, it's a little look into it. Oh, Wardle. How adorable. I love these new characters, they're so cute. Oh. Okay, so we'll see what we can do. Um, the first kind of build or whatever, the decor. I, I want to get into it. Oh, a uniform. Okay, I guess I'll go get changed into my uniform for work. You can use the locker to make changes to your work outfit. Okay, let's choose a work outfit. That's really cute. Love that. Definitely want that. Oh my god. Always going for the businesswoman look. Which one? I think these are cute. Let's go for... Um... The socks, the everyday socks. Basic pumps. Professional. A little shoulder bag. But I like this one. Yeah, we'll go with the white one. Is that only one top? Do we wear the dress instead then? Because the top doesn't really go with anything. Yeah, I prefer this headdress. Okay, well, we're gonna go with the dress. I think it's cute. This is the look. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Let us see what's going on. Oh yeah, I look so official, so professional. Welcome to Paradise Planning. Very cute. It does roll off the tongue. Learning on the job, so it looks like we're gonna go to the client consults now. <laughs> you can even call me boss. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, am I gonna have to do Eloise's house? So we don't get to choose the first one, but that's okay. We'll see what she wants. Just tell your hopes and dreams to honey. Oh yeah. Apparently I'll make them come true now. What is your vision, Eloise? I have some furniture I'd like to use, no matter what. You see, my ideal place is like 
my relaxing reading room. <gasps> That's going to be really cute. Okay. I love that. I just bought a book today, actually. I got the Atlas Paradox. And I've pre-ordered... Not pre-ordered. I've ordered to the store Ithaca. Um by I think Claire North and because they didn't have it in stock the one they did was like really damaged and it's half off today at Waterstones so you know got to treat myself I've been listening to audiobooks recently but I thought I'd treat myself to some more books I've also got the Shadow and Bone series for Christmas so I need to read them as well okay this is really plain so do we get to decorate the outside? I'm pretty sure we do we do that after? I don't know. I don't know. What is going on? Okay, newbie. How dare you call me newbie. That's so cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do two of these. Wait, how do we... Oh, the variations? Oh, this will look a lot cuter if I put these away and do the variations of them, I think. Can we, can we move you? Go away. Okay, let's go to the needed things. Can we change these up? If it's gonna be cozy, I think the dark brown works the best. So let's get a couple of these out. They're pretty, but I think those ones are probably the best. And then we need a little dark rocking chair. That one, beautiful. Want to make it like a really cute reading nook that I would love as well. Let me see some plants. Like if you're gonna have a reading nook, it's it's not complete without some plants. This is just gonna be absolutely full with reading material. Obviously, we need Eloise's photo. Oh, we need to wallpaper. What's cute for reading? Let's have a look. I think the common flooring probably goes the best. Then, probably this elegant rug fits the vibe. Let's let's try and organize what I've got so far anyway. I'm thinking maybe we do like a reading nook in the corner. Keep changing the rug by accident. Like that. Make it nice and cozy. Her bed can be over here. Obviously, a chair in the reading nook. I think the bedroom needs to be like kind of separate. So I'm going to keep it over here. Everyone needs a bin. That's always a good accessory for a room. Yeah, filling it up with quite literally rubbish, but that that's okay. And we're going to have to have a little coffee cup because what is reading without... A cup of tea with some coffee. That one's cute. And ooh, a little side table lamp. We could do... Mm, that's really cute. That's very Eloise. We don't have enough stuff for the walls, I don't think. But we'll figure that out later. I think we might have gotten a bit too much. I think this can go. Yeah. We'll put the sofa here. Or should we put it over here? I think the little lamp should go over here and the tall one should be over here. Do we need that partition there or could I just go like this? Or nice and snug. And the sofa can be the thing that like separates everything from the rest of the room. This, this isn't bad though. This is really good. Um, I just need to figure out the rest of it. I don't think we need this console here. So we'll put this on top of here. This can go next to the sofa as if like someone's gonna be reading it. Right, this might be done. Oh wait, no, the walls. I can't forget about the walls. Yes, okay. So now I need to change up where all of this stuff is. This wreath can go above the bed, I think. Yeah. Are we done? 
Well, she can get into our bed, which is really good. She can get into here, I think. Yeah, she doesn't need to squidge around. And I only have kick a lullaby, so are we done? Do I need to speak to her? Yeah, okay, it's ready. This is so cute. Oh yeah. Do we get a little compilation now? It's so cute. Look at her. Oh my god. Take a picture. It lasts longer. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, I'm not a big fan of Eloise. A fringe is a bit strange, but I do like how this turned out and I love the reading nook kind of prompt. And I'm really happy we've got to do that as our first one, especially when I've just bought some books today. My first job is a success. Look at us go. I've been recording for ages. I think we'll just do this one in this episode, but maybe I'll have to like film some more. That was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, how I did with that prompt. I think it went really cute with the limited items that we had. Okay, well, I think that that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me decorate Eloise's house into a reading nook. I love how my interests came together in one Animal Crossing and reading the dream. Um, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and listening to audiobooks recently, which has been really fun. But yes, if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. It is a big help and I will see you in the next one. Bye.